Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss uh, a brief introduction to PL SQL. PL SQL it is uh, the Oracle procedural extension of SQL, it is a portable high performance transaction processing language. You know as uh, you know about SQL which is a structured query language which is used for all relational databases. Uh, on the other hand PL SQL that is procedural language structured query language it is it is specific to oracle like uh, pl sql programs can be written for oracle database and they can be executed only on oracle database uh, pl sql uh, apart from sql has several important features like uh, pl sql is a secured language in the sense the code or the programs that you write in pl sql they are very secure and uh, any external uh, components cannot access them without you know uh, the user's permission. In addition to that uh, PL SQL also uh, like the code that you write in PL SQL also is reusable. So, code reusability is another important feature in PL SQL. Uh, that simply means uh, SQL queries are meant only for one time use. But PL SQL programs they can be reused, executed again and again depending on your requirement. Code reusability is another important feature of PL SQL. Coming to the next that is control structure. Uh, in SQL control structure is not available, but PL SQL has a full fledged control structure for selection statements, for iterative statements. You have got uh, all the way you can control the flow of the execution for iteration as well as for selection. Apart from that PL SQL is also portable language in the sense when you want to share your database with uh, other programming languages may be Java, C sharp, C or kind of you can do that very easily you just need to write a procedure in PL SQL and the same procedure can be executed from uh, any other programming language which is uh, compatible to oracle database. Apart from that PL SQL also is uh, a very high performance uh, you know language uh, because the queries that you write in uh, PL SQL programs are executed in a faster way compared to normal SQL queries. Apart from that PL SQL also has exception handling mechanism in the sense uh, whenever uh, you know any runtime error or uh, warning condition occurs which can be very effectively handled from within the program itself using PL SQL. So, these are some of the important features of PL SQL uh, next to that is architecture of PL SQL as you can see on the screen we have multiple engines in uh, oracle server and one of those engines is PL SQL engine. So, PL SQL engine takes care of uh, PL SQL uh, programs and you know the PL SQL block that you execute out of that the procedural part is taken care you know by procedural statement executor and the SQL part is taken care by SQL statement executor. So, this is what is you know an architecture of PL SQL which comprises PL SQL engine. Now, a PL SQL also has its own coding standards like uh, the keywords that you use in PL SQL like uh, for example, declare begin you know exception end as per the standards those keywords should be put in uppercase and the identifiers that is the names of you know variables types tables and all that they should be written in lower case apart from that whatever data is there may be textual data it has to follow its own appropriate case depending on the business. Uh, coming to the PL SQL engine which is a part of PL SQL architecture 
you know when you are using uh, when you are connecting to oracle database using sql star plus at that time the output of sql engine it starts by default but the output of pl sql engine it does not start by default you must issue a command that is set server output on after you issue this command the pl sql engine will start pl sql is a block structured language in the sense whatever programs or you know the parts of the programs write down they are all written in different blocks and pl sql basically has you know it may be a program in pl sql it basically has four different blocks and uh, the types of blocks they are basically anonymous block procedure and function the normal structure of a pl sql block it has four parts that is declare begin exception and end as you can see on the screen here is one pl sql block and this whole code is called as a block and apart from that these small parts of that block they are also called as blocks so declare begin exception end these are the four blocks and all these things together also is a block okay so declare begin exception end out of those four blocks declare block is optional and exception block also is optional so variables and types you can declare in declare block but you may write a program where you do not need any variables that time you will not need the declare block apart from that when you want to handle exceptions then only you need to use exception block otherwise it is not required but in any but in any standard program exception blocks would definitely be there apart from that begin and end block they are mandatory your executable code goes into begin block and end block simply has one slash okay that is the mark of end of the file so this is typically a structure of a pl sql block and uh, uh, starting with anonymous block anonymous block is an unnamed pl sql block which is meant only for one time use okay on the anonymous block the, that you write down will not be reusable uh, this anonymous block it is used only for one time use and let me show you an example of an anonymous block on the screen as you can read i have got you know a small example of anonymous block i want to print hello world on the screen and i have put uh, the statement into begin block followed by end block so let me try this on sql screen so as you can see on the screen i have uh, written here begin and one simple procedure that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so here on the screen i simply want to print hello world so begin block end block i have not used declare block and exception block so this is what is an example of an anonymous block i execute this query you will get the message pl sql procedure successfully completed but there is no output as i told you you must issue the command set server output on so that will get the output from you know a pl sql block so i'm writing here set server output set server output on and now i you know run the same program once again begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and you know in single quotes hello world followed by end and followed by the file end mark that is slash and you can see hello world is there on the screen so this is an example of anonymous block and this is a brief introduction to pl sql if you have got any questions please write them in the comments and to watch more such videos please visit nourished i technologies on youtube.com thank you mm -hmm.